In this video, we're just going to update where we are on the marble machine, show you how far we got. So first of all, we're going to show you a run uh, at the beginning of this video and finish the end part, so where the ball actually ends and drops off. So I'll show you where we are at the beginning of the video, and then you'll see as we progress that we fix the end bit and make it look a little bit tidier. So I'm also going to go through all of the elements of the marble machine so far. This is far from finished. Uh, we'll talk about that a bit further on the video. If you watch closely at the end, I slowed it down a bit so you can see the balls actually overshoot in the, the uh, container at the end. So we're going to tidy that bit up. That's the thing that we're currently working on. So if we watch again, you can see the ball drops into the bucket, runs down the chute, falls into the chain, goes down the spiral, and then it overshoots its target. So with a small adjustment, if we raise the target up so that the ramp isn't quite so uh, steep of an incline, you'll see the ball actually drops off the end and goes into the target where we wanted to go. So the ball starts out in the bottom of that large circle with the big gear wheel. Then because the gear wheel is turning, it raises the ball up, drops it out the top hole and into that red bucket. Then it goes along the chute and drops through the hole onto the belt. The belt is made of identical links that are all clipped together and they hold the ball. The ball drops into that little hole you can see there and then it holds it pretty securely. Then it drops out of the belt into the other red chute, which has the little guide that puts it into the spiral. Then into the spiral, down to the bottom and onto the next chute. And of course, all of this made possible by my special helper. So if we look at it in slow motion, you'll see just how resilient that belt is. The ball actually drops on the belt, but still ends up in one of the links. Yeah, it's actually quite impressive in slow motion. And on this run, we, I slowed it down on the belt so I didn't continue to turn the handle. And then you can see it jump off the end of the belt, go into the red chute, and then come down. And this, this one doesn't have the raised up final piece, so it's going to overshoot the end. So the main drive of the whole system is the little crank handle. I'm actually thinking about maybe changing that for a motor in the future, but for now it's a little crank handle that's held onto a key shaft. So after paying a little bit of attention to the end part, I replaced the container with the little bowl, and then you'll see the run. This is just one continuous run. You'll see it going through the uh, complete run and dropping into the bowl. Now if we watch it in slow motion, you'll see the ball actually coming up through the uh, large gear wheel. The arrow points to that. And then you'll see it actually go through the entire run in slow motion. So we have some other ideas for the next part. You see this uh, ramp where the ball drops down. Also looking at a way to, to switch it so it can go in two different directions. That's going to be in the next bit. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel because there's going to be updates. You'll see more of this uh, marble machine. We're going to build it out and turn it into something fun.